and welcome to the post-game wrap-up show here on PoconoSnow.org as the Pocono Snow light up the torch and beat Bucksmont two to two to nothing here tonight, and ran their first win of the season, getting their first three points under new head coach Jerry Seska, and now the Pocono Snow go to one one and one on the year with four points in the Keystone Division. I'm Matt Catrillo, joined by Mr. Jim Shupak, our public address announcer here tonight, witnessing a good win here tonight, Jim. And last game against Hershey, it was not so good of a game. You didn't see great energy at all from the team. You know, a lot of scoring chances, but weren't able to finish. And tonight, they were able to finish two of those chances. And really, from the get-go, Jim, you saw great energy early on from this team, and it carried out through the entire game from start to finish. Oh, yeah, it looked like... And I still remember that first game, first 45 minutes of the snow match against uh, Reading, and team looked solid. We just couldn't put the ball away. This match, finally, we're able to put those two halves together. And really, I mean, in the second half, there was a lot of keep away. But at the same time, when you're holding the 2 nothing lead, they need to come to you. You don't need to score anymore. So i got to give the snow props. This is probably their best overall 90-minute performance this entire season. So props to Jerry Sheska and the coaching staff and the team. That's well said, Jim, man. Clearly, I think the difference from this game, Jim, is as the scoring chances kept going on and on, they had one in the 13th minute and then a couple in the 30th and 38th minute, you just kind of knew that they were finally going to pull one in yeah. eventually. And then three minutes later in the 41st minute, you had the first goal of the game, and then the second one came later, three minutes later in the 44th minute of the first half, and that was all the scoring she wrote. And finally, it's, it's just got to feel good for them to finally get that off the chest and start finishing off some of those chances. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, this has to be the Snow's most talented team that they've had in their five years of existence. And to finally kind of, you know, get the monkey off their back, if you want to call Absolutely. it that, you know, that, that's that got to be a big relief for them because looking at the team and how they've been pretty much brought together, I look at that first game, and that should have been a win. The Hershey game, it just didn't seem like the guys had that same motivation that they really, you know, knowing that a Jerry Sheska coach team would have. And now, to finally get that result, that has to be a positive going into their next match this Saturday against Junior Lone Star. So definitely uh, looking forward to some brighter and better things for the snow. Absolutely, and the snow outshot the Bucksmont Torch here tonight, 8-3. to three, And two of those shots went in the net off the foot of Roshane Ellison with two goals on the night. Here's what he had to say after the game. Uh, with me now is Roshane Ellison. Scoring two goals tonight here for the Pocono Snow and a 2 0 win against Bucksmont. Roshane, first of all, it's got to feel good on a first win. Congratulations tonight. Thank you very much. Of course, it's always good to get the first win of the season. We've been playing good, but disappointing previous game, but it's good to get back in form and get a victory tonight. For the fans and for the team. Absolutely. And now, Roshane, obviously, this was the best game of the season for, your, for yourself personally. It just seemed, that right from the start of the game, right from that first whistle, you just seemed to have such great energy and you carried it out through the whole game. Obviously, this was a very important game tonight for, for the team, only having one point coming into the season now, only th three games, uh, what, three games into the season. So, uh, just explain what kind of energy you had tonight. Well, I just wanted to go there and work hard for the team. My position is forward, so I get paid to score goals. Not really get paid, but that's what my my job is. So I just wanted to come out there and do my best for the team. Did you feel that the, the rest of the energy from the team right from the get-go? The team was all the way through. So you see Kyle Pippich getting in there. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. We have been having like great practices. Like as I said, we lost the previous game, but all the guys rally around each other, and we were able to come out here and put on a good show for the fans. All right, thanks to Roshane. Congratulations on the first point. Of course. Point. Thank you very much. So clearly Roshane Ellison and Bob Pivich there, as you saw at the end of the interview, very happy with the win here tonight. And, Jim, we've talked about from the, from years past when Roshane being a, a great leader on this team and really has been the go-to guy as far as scoring department is concerned. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can remember just a couple years ago, and, and really Roshane was the go-to guy. He was the goal scorer. And, you know, even earlier this season, I have to say, like, Roshane wasn't playing maybe some of his best soccer, but today, you know, he really is coming like a coming out party of sorts because he put two balls away, and I think some of the confidence that maybe he was lacking early on, he's finally getting it back. So. And he clearly looked like a man on a mission tonight, yeah. right from the get-go, oh, and that's yeah. why I asked him that, too, and you can see clearly... He, he said he said it clear. He, he gets paid to, to oh, for, yeah. what, for what they right, have exactly. here. He gets paid to score yeah, goals. That's and just it. He, he did the job there tonight, absolutely. So you have him at, who are having a great game tonight. And also, Sastry Spencer up from Roshan Ellison did some work tonight. Four shots on goal, and he, he had the he helped on the on the first goal on Roshane in the 40 on the 41st minute but he was a factor all night in the offensive oh, yeah. end too for the snow. Oh, without a doubt. And I have to give props defensively too. The snow really 
no no big uh, saves Bob Pippich had to make either. You and know? Danny Drago was back Danny in the lineup Drago tonight. Danny Drago was back was in the help. lineup, so it was nice having Danny back. You know, Mike in the back, and and really they were solid throughout. So I mean, it was it was one of those games similar to that Reading game, except for the last two minutes where they, you know, the nut was cracked if you want to call it that Absolutely. when they allowed that you know 89th minute goal. But today, nothing was getting by the defense, and and really anything that got inside the 18, no big deal for Bob Pippich. He was able to. Pretty much take everything in. And of course, this is the first win for new head coach Jerry Sheska. This is what he had to say, say after the game, after his first win. All right, now here with Coach Sheska after the first win of the year for the Pocono Snow and the first win of the year for first year head coach Jer Jerry Sheska. So, Coach, I'm sure you got to feel good after the win here tonight. Oh, yeah, it feels really good. You know, I thought we had that first one against Reading and we let that slip away. Uh, we didn't t play particularly well against Hershey, but we, we played much better. We had a really good first half. Second half was a little suspect, but the first half was really good, and hopefully we can continue with this. Yeah, and speaking of the first half, right from the first whistle, the guys just seemed like to great, to bring such great energy, and they, they seemed to, they really seemed to, really urgent in their play tonight. I guess, what did you say to them before to the game? Well, you know, you don't have to say a whole lot to them. They pretty much know that we didn't play well last game, and they wanted to come out there and show the people that they could play at that level. And you were right, they played with a, a great deal of energy. We we pushed the you know pressured the ball and consequently because we pressured the ball we, we created opportunities offensively so it was a great team effort. Now Roshan Ellison obviously had a big part of that two goals for him tonight and numerous other chances too from other players like Sastry had four shots on goal tonight great assist on Roshan's second goal from Ricardo Harvey talk about all those guys tonight how well they played. Yeah you know what Roshan's been knocking on the door he's played really well he's worked extremely hard and I was glad to see he was rewarded I just hopefully. Uh, in the near future, a couple of the other guys get some goals too because they've been working, working very hard. Tonight, you know, it was pretty clear how hard they worked and then the time they put in for it. So hopefully they'll be rewarded in the future too. Now the team has their first one under their belt. Four points on the season, three points behind Binghamton for second place. They're in a two-way tie now for third place. And Hershey got the winner tonight, so just a little bit far away from first place. But what's the approach going forward now? Well, we're hoping we can continue and, and, and do the same thing on Saturday. Uh, you know, we have to keep playing at this level. You know, we can't worry about what we did before, you know, or who we have in the upcoming games. We have to worry about what we're doing that particular day. So if we come out and play with this intensity, and we, we changed, we tweaked things around a little bit with um, with our, our system of play with what we did. And it worked, and uh, you know, hopefully we have the right guys in the right combination playing. Okay. That's all I have for you, Coach. Thanks. And you can tell in the interview, Jim, Coach Jessica seemed to be more relieved than happy with the first one. Uh, not not the greatest of starts. I mean, there was a lot of expectations, despite the recent history of the snow. Mm -hmm. This is their fifth year in the NPSL. What Jerry, with a coach like Jerry Seska, who is well known in the, in this in this soccer area here in Northeastern Pennsylvania, a lot of, of championships won oh, here yeah. at, at on the campus of East Strasburg University, where the snow play here tonight, and a lot again, a lot of the expectations and not the greatest of starts, and he right. finally gets his first win tonight. Oh yeah, and that like like you said, man. I mean, coach is relieved. I guarantee you, like just to get that monkey off of his back now. You know, you just getting the first of everything, and you're coming into a new situation. He's bringing in his own players, his own coaching staff, and at the same time, he's finally starting to see the results that he was brought in here so that the fans could see. Absolutely. Now, looking forward, go, going forward, Jim, the, the Snow are only three points behind Binghamton for second place now in in the in the Keystone Division. So that's that would be three points behind the playoff spots, mm -hmm. the top two teams from each division in each conference of the four conferences and the and the league make the playoffs. So. The snow with this win tonight, right back in the thick of things as far as a playoff spot is concerned. Hershey got a win last night, so now they're at double-digit points already. They're 4-0 on the year, and they just beat the snow on, on uh, last Saturday night. So now they have 12 points, so the snow still has some catching up to do in that respect towards first place in the division. But they're still in the thick of things as far as a oh, yeah. playoff spot is concerned, so a really big win here tonight going oh, forward. Oh, without a doubt. Like we were saying before, even when the snow were 0-1-1 after that first tie and then the loss of, you know, on Saturday... It really was a must win. I mean, you know, we could sugarcoat it however we want, say, nah, I mean, if we just get a, a tie, a tie's one point, a win's three points. You know, when a team like Hershey has 12 points, you know, one point's not going to help you, but three points will. I think so. that I think the loss on Saturday may come back to hurt the snow down the stretch of this. is finally a, a, a building block of them putting a string of wins together, finally getting some 
three-point cushion into themselves as they, as they go forward. And they'll try and keep the winning going now, get their first winning streak of the year, as they will host JR Lone Star, who they've had really good success yeah. against, Jim. Oh, so yeah. this should be a good matchup Saturday night right here oh, at Island Martin Stadium. Yeah, without a doubt, 7 o'clock right here at Island Martin Stadium. And like you said, Matt, they have had a history of success against you know Junior Lone Star, so let's just hope that that history success continues. That's, that's absolutely true. This has been a wrap-up of the post-game show here on PoconoSnow.org. Again, the snow light up the torch with a 2-0 win over the Buxmont torch. Next game is right here at Eiler Martin Stadium here at 7 o'clock against JR Lone Star. Jim and I will be back for the post-game wrap-up show after that game on Saturday night right here on PoconoSnow.org. Again, the snow win, 2-0 over Buxmont. For Jim Shupek, I'm Matt Control. Have a great night, snow fans.